Hi, I'm Itali. I'm mostly in the moment and I'm glad you're here with me. We're going to be looking at the Twin Flame energies for the week of December 27th through January 2nd. For the Divine Feminines, the Divine Masculines, and the Union energies. We're going to be looking at what happened in the recent past last week. We're going to be focusing on this week, the last few days of December into the first few days of January 2019. And then we're going to have a sneak peek of what's to come in the first half of January. If you're new to my channel, you can always subscribe for weekly Twin Flame Energy readings. And if you'd like a personal reading from me, you could always email me. My information is below. I will be opening up readings again in January. Um, with that said, I'd like to say thank you so, so much for all your beautiful positive energy donations of likes, comments, subscribing, and donations. I officially now have enough to get... Uh, the equipment I need, including a new microphone. So please look out for that in January. And I would say thank you so, so, so much. It was like a holiday miracle. Um, I really, I'm really, um, truly grateful. And I'm thank you so, so much. Um, okay, with that, I'd like to get started. Um, what's been happening in the Union Energies last week is we got the World card right away with the Three of Wands clarified by the Two of Swords. Both twins knowing that they are moving forward in their life. It's like no looking back. We're ending the cycle. We're starting our new cycle, our new life as a new us confidently. Um, plans already drawn up and made. We're, this is what's happening. This is what's going to happen in the next year. But not necessarily uh, knowing exactly which way you're going to go in this uh, new life. So knowing that you are starting a new cycle, a new life, not exactly having all the decisions um, made yet. But um, with so much positivity, it's kind of like being okay with not knowing how things are going to go, just knowing that they're going to go in a positive direction. Okay, for the Divine Feminines last week, we had the Five of Cups with the Seven of Swords, a very tricky combination. When this combination comes up, it's kind of like... Uh, annoying energies, <laughs> um, kind of difficult, little pesky things that come up that kind of, it's not enough to be totally triggering, it's just maybe even so minor that it's just annoying to get annoyed about, <laughs> you know, um, but with the Six of Pentacles here, clarifying that, that heart energy, it's like, um, you know, maybe not letting it show that, you know, you're unhappy with how things went, you might have wanted things to go a little bit differently, and these aren't like uh, big, big energies, just like little things here and there, you know, felt like um, you planned everything out and didn't go according to plan, or, um, you know, uh, I wish this went this way, or I wish I had that extra thing here instead of there. And it's just like um, a little little bit um, frustrating, annoying, which, which to holidays can be if you have to do a lot of work to get everything done and see a lot of family and friends that you haven't seen for a long time. Um, you know, people you don't see often or might um, not agree with 100% in your... Um, worldviews or whatnot so you know still being compassionate still giving a lot of your a kind side but um not letting people see maybe kind of the little bit of uh frustration here and there that can go um that when things go awry you know again here with the four of cups in their headspace and the knight of wands and the king of swords so for some feminines this is going to be that you were waiting for some sort of communication to come in. Very strong, very straightforward, um, somewhat very romantic or passionate communication. Communication with a lot of thought and desire and passion behind it. Um, for some divine feminines, um, this was not in the way that they thought it was going to be. <laughs> It might, the communication might have came in, but not in the way that you thought it was going to. 
So again, with the little minor annoyance, um, not things that maybe going exactly the way that you thought they were going to, but in some in some cases, ex exactly how you thought it was going to, but not the way you were hoping it would, you know? Um, and because in the physical energy, it's like four of swords, yeah. I'm taking a break. I'm laying down now. <laughs> I am um, just want to be alone for a whole day and just, you know, binge my shows or, you know, drink my glass of wine or my, you know, can of beer or, um, you know, indulge in like all this uh, food or um, just take a break from the family and friends or uh, the divine masculines. Like, I'm um, I deserve this. I've been working hard, you know. I pulled it together and now I'm taking a break. I'm resting now. <laughs> um, that much needed um, moments to yourself a little bit, right? Uh, Self-reflection, um, which is going to make a lot of sense with this week's energy. But yeah, um, this ties in um, neatly with um, tying up new loose ends for this new cycle um, because in the divine masculines we have the chariot with the two of cups the heart is leaping forward running flying what's faster than flying teleporting into <laughs> um, like this union energy they're literally there they're they're literally arriving at the gates, arriving at uh, the door of this union within their heart. So this this is definitely something about um, the divine masculines coming into union within themselves, um, balancing out that feminine and masculine energy within themselves, um, and also in the, the connection between the twin flames. Um, yeah, I got a lot of... Uh, with the three of wands and the world card, I kept getting yesterday and today, rapid fire. A lot of um, tying up loose ends and um, new ideas for the new cycle, the new you, the new year, uh, rapid fire. So you might've been getting a lot of little things that are kind of annoying that comes up um, because it's like time to go. Divine, divine is like, yeah, let's go, let's go. And um, this is a lot of the divine masses also intuitively feeling that the next year is going to bring them not just um, a life that connects with who they are more, um, maybe in, even in the realm of romance and um, a romantic commitment, but also in terms of something physical, maybe their health, maybe their wealth, money, um, their home, uh, marriage. Um, all these things, they're, they're feeling like they're running to towards this um, version of themselves they want to see next year. Um, this is also, yeah, so you're going to get like um, a lot of signs of synchronicities, especially because of the masculines that are like getting in tune with their spirituality now, where you're going to see that soon, Divine Feminines, this week. Um Moving in leaps and bounds toward the spirituality. Rapid fire. It's time to go. And <laughs> the Ace of Cups with the Magician card. Oh, okay. So Divine Masculines are having um, a pretty good week in terms of <sighs> emotional fulfillment. I feel like uh, a lot of Masculines received a lot of um, love and manifested it by... Just saying, I want more love in my life. And they might have received it from their friends, their family, the divine feminines, um, just people around them. And they're giving a lot of love too. So this is a good thing that the masses are receiving a lot of love because it's making them think about this next year, about romance, about um, bigger, um, grander goals and dreams. Um the divine masses are acknowledging that this amount of love that they're receiving, even from the divine, they might be feeling like, you know, the universe has my back now. God has my back. Like, the, the, that kind of spiritual, like, 
confirmation is so important when you feel like you can believe in yourself you can believe you can get, achieve these goals so the massive i mean what i mean again the ace of wands with the star card and temperance oh my god the magician and oh my the chair okay okay divine masculines had a pretty good week last week and i know this because <laughs> I know this is unfair for me to say. My ego is going to come up a little bit. And it's kind of ugly. But every time the Divine Masculines have a great week, the Divine Feminines, I feel like, have like a kind of difficult week. And then uh, every time the Divine Feminines have like an awesome week, the Divine Masculines have like a pretty not-so-great week, kind of difficult. And um, I'm not saying this is always the case because um, we both have Divine Feminine and Masculine energy within us. But... Um, kind of goes hand in hand and it's kind of I could also see it in like twin flame relationships also that that's sometimes the case it only looks like that on the outside and the inside is you know similar things um but with the with the ace of wands really feeling like this is action this is really they're starting this new action whatever it is they have a star card in the temperance they mellowed out. They really thought about what they wanted in their in their lives, what their to go after their big dreams, their hopes, their aspirations. They're really going for it. Last week was really um, like essential for the masculines to believe in themselves, believe that they can do this. Wow. Okay, and which leads to this week, a lot of. Heavy energies again for the um, union energies, the judgment and the moon card. Um, I knew there's a lot of heavy union energies towards the end of the year into uh, the beginning of next year. And this is kind of like there's no going back. I feel like a lot of divine feminines and masculines have made the call. There's no going back. I'm making the choice to go forward. Even though I don't know what exactly lies ahead, all I, well, I do know is that I'm not going to make those same mistakes again. I already learned lessons from this karmic or I already learned um, that I want something bigger and better for myself. Um, there's no turn back. I've made the call. I've already made the hard choice. I've already done the hard spiritual work and I'm going forward no matter what. Very... Strong intuition here. High intuitive cards. There's no turning back to the flames. This is this is like once you start this near this year, it's 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 on another level. Like I feel like you're gonna feel it even towards uh, this this week, the end of 2018 to the beginning of 2018, 19. You're gonna feel this kind of. I am not going back to this negative thing again. Whatever that karmic situation or that lesson or the spiritual, um, a spiritual thing that you were working on. Because I know a lot of people had a tough couple of uh, years or a year or, you know, they're ready for this new life. The Divine Feminines, we have the High Priestess, clarified by the High Priestess this week, with the Page of Swords. This is, um, again, confirmation that <sighs> the Divine Feminines are, <laughs> uh, I think you guys are meditating more. You're meditating more, you're connecting with yourself more, you're connecting with your guides, your angels, the universe, um, your higher self, your subconscious mind, whatever you believe in, on another level. Like, I can't, like, clarified by the high priestess again. This is such, like, how, how I was saying in my last few readings, that the level of intuition is skyrocketing so strongly you know, it's always the darkest before the dawn. So if you had a tough, like, last week or uh, last few days, like, watch watch how powerful that transformation was necessary. Like, 
how necessary that powerful transformation was because you're going to feel it this week at the end of this week or, you know, beginning of next year. Like, you're going to feel it. Like, like a strong knowing of something that, that you get really excited for, that makes your heart flutter. I think a lot of Divine Feminines are going to have some sort of really vivid dream really so strong sign synchronicity that's like is that a miracle that just happened in front of me a really um like i mean i maybe an apparition that forms in front of you or um out of body experience something that just really pushes you into evolving spiritually so on the next level I, I would I would definitely say uh, meditate even if it's like five ten minutes a day even if that just means like staring off into space for five minutes it's gonna reward you tenfold I'm not even kidding because like uh, we have this the um, strength card here for your headspace with the lovers card the death card and the ace of cups this is a very strong week where the divine feminists are like kind of controlling their ego, controlling their um, desire for material or physical things in the physical um, and really getting in tune with their, <laughs> with themselves and with the universe. And it's just, I, whew, okay. So we have for the physical, the ace of pentacles clarifying the two of swords a lot of the feminists are not even going to know the ace of chalices again for like the divine feminine's energy divine feminine is something really profound happening this week for you life changing in a very strong way this is and it's like not being specific it's just like ace of chalices ace of pentacles ace of cups again you know, it's, it's, it, I, I, I it's going to be different from every person, but it's, it's just so powerful. Um, just, you know, meditate for five to 10 minutes a day this week. It will, you will not be sorry. <laughs> All right. So for the divine mass ones, um, we have the star card, the page of wands, the seven of swords. Again, I feel like the divine masculines, they feel so sort of like, yes, my wish came true. Yes, I'm looking to the future, really excited to see where this goes. But still, still, um, like keeping a secret. This might be um, that they're wishing for something. They feel, they feel like their life is progressing in one area of their life. But then it progresses in another area. Like they think they're progressing in their career and it progresses in love. But they're progressing in love and it um, progresses in family or finances. Like it's like, or who they thought they were going to end up with is someone else. Or um, something along those lines. Like where they thought they were going to live is like, no, it's like, uh, like across the country, not that city or something. Something like that. For their headspace, we have the Queen of Swords, um, the King of Cups, the Judgment card again, and the Eight of Swords. Yeah, I feel like... I feel like they're taking... They're following the lead of the feminine's um, strong spirituality this this week, so even energetically, the Divine Masculines are picking up on how strong this energy is that's coming in. And, you know, uh, Divine Masculines, you also have Divine Feminine energy within you. So you're following that lead. You're feeling that you're Divine Feminine um, making these powerful, like something's going on here. Something's going on very powerfully and strong this week. Um, and the Divine Masculines are following the lead and matching that kind of um spiritual strength yeah 
this is the same thing repeated. Um, they're not looking back anymore in terms of love, sharing love, and giving love. That's why it was so necessary last week. That's why the Divine Feminine Mind felt like, oh, the Divine Masculines weren't giving me that much attention or things didn't go the way I wanted them. Two, because Divine Masculines were receiving that love from the universe um, so they could have that love for themselves. So now they are, you know, matching the Divine Feminines with this powerful love energy. It's powerful um, spiritual evolution and the divine masculines are bored. They're like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm with you. I'm doing this. Because in the physical space, they have the nine of pentacles with the queen of wands. And the seven of pentacles. Um, I don't know why, but for some reason, I feel like the divine masculines have been feeling like the divine feminine have been like the successful ones. Even if they weren't, even if the Divine Feminine, you know, might have been making more money or had a job or doing something that was like a passion project of theirs or had a good good uh, family or friends or a support system or, you know, something like along those lines or just seemed like they were happier all the time. I feel like they felt like the Divine Feminine was always like... in a good spot or something um and that they were always like waiting to get to that level um you know that they're ready for a relationship that they can handle this or they can handle that and then the divine masculines are now like always oh, I, I thought i had to like wait to get there but i can be there just by opening up my mind Opening up my heart. Yeah. Yeah, because they're... They have the strength card for their overall energy. They are also saying that they will... Um, that they have been, you know, kind of feeding their ego too much or focusing their on their ego too much. And they've been, like, kind of taming it and kind of focusing more on... Um, spiritual and spiritual and love based ideas instead of um, physical things in the physical money property you know clothes and electronics and vacations and cars and whatnot. Um, but like, you know, feeling happy and feeling like you're enough, that comes from within. And they're realizing that they always thought the Divine Feminine was doing well. And this could be the Divine Feminine or other people in their lives that like have, uh, have been holding more feminine power. And they always felt like they've been doing so much better. And it's just, it's just because the Divine Feminine has been um, constantly doing the spiritual work of I am where I'm supposed to be, you know, I'm going, I am achieving my goals, I am on a high vibration, you know, doing things, I'm constantly doing things to keep this high vibration, you know, um, and the Divine Masculines are matching that. That's so beautiful. I love that. That's why uh, both the Divine Feminine and ma Masculines this week are very powerfully saying, with this kind of energy, there's no way I'm going back to how things were. And very strongly, um, a lot of signs and synchronicities, a lot of maybe like really um, kind of events that they can't describe kind of um, might happen this week. And um, like even for me, like you know how it's like rapid fire, let's, let's go. The divine's like really pushing us, like it's time, let's go. Um, we have to start the new cycle. Like you're, you're ready. Like uh, let's just get through this, this few things that you have to tie up. Um, like even before before I was um, before I went through my awakening, I would get downloads with like a physical component also in my, in my body, um, and now when I get downloads, it's just like you know really easy um, without that physical component. But I've been getting downloads with that um, physical twitch again, and I realized I was the divine saying like, 
okay, you're getting a divine download. Get back to doing your work. Like, you know, like, you know, it's a little bit hard after the holidays, you know, seeing family and um, people like not, as, not really um, always on the same vibe or, you know, a lot of bit of, a lot of drinking or overeating and, you know, watching uh, television that can um, be uh, affecting your manifestations and whatnot. It's like, get back to work. Like, you have tie, uh, tie up loose ends. It's rapid fire. Here are some downloads. Get to it. Get to work. So I think this because, like, the divine is now intervening in a big way to push Twin Flames along on their spiritual path. They're coming into the same vibe. And, you know, when that happens, there's a lot of unions. So I can definitely see that happening towards um, the end of this year and the beginning of next year. Because we have here the Nine of Wands with the Six of Wands. Some sort of victory for the work you put in. For a lot of you, this is going to be the spiritual work you put in. So if you put a lot of your heart and soul, whatever you put your heart and soul into it, if you put it, your heart and soul into a relationship, your heart and soul into your work, um, your heart and soul into getting a new home or for building um, family relationships, whatever it is, um, whatever you put your heart and soul into, you did the work, you know, um, you're going to get some sort of reward coming into the first uh, couple weeks of January. Again here, yes. Uh, the Divine Feminines, letting your heart wander. Like you've opened up your heart in such a big way that you are exploring. Like we have the, with the Ten of Pentacles here, you're exploring um, the realm of manifestations. I feel like you're going to be able to manifest things really quickly and you understand how it works better now that like... Um, and it's like easier for people to manifest now if you're especially if you're in this like very high vibe place, especially right now, that you're exploring like all the things you want to manifest and can manifest um, because it's happening. <laughs> We're here. Hello, the Empress with the Wheel of Fortune, the Page of Cups. Little by little, you're going to manifest things very <laughs> easily. Um, you're going to be really happy. I know. Um, Beginning of January is a really good positive um, energy um, for manifesting a lot of things, a lot of um, <laughs> good fortune. Um, yeah, for the divine masculines, also um, I feel like with uh, the beginning of January, they're leaving some idea. They're leaving someone in order to be this this beautiful, loving soul that they've uh, spiritually grown into. They are decided to leave home. They might be leaving a karma partner, um, you know, a, a family um, that they grew up with, um, their job, you know. Someone that meant a lot to them at one point. Uh, or something that meant a lot to them at some point. It might be even a home. Um, yeah. The Divine Masculines are going to... Wow. They are committed. They are committed to being this new them. Making the tough decisions and doing it. Yeah, even in their headspace, they're um, thinking of why things didn't come up, why opportunities didn't like um, spill forward. They felt like you know they were seeing a lot of signs of synchronicities in the end of December and the beginning of. January that they're like when when <laughs> when you're on board and you start this like kind of waking process you're in this like kind of euphoric like everything's so magical like there's signs and everywhere like look at these animals look at these um 
looking for the words on this and stuff like that, the music, blah, blah, blah. And then like when you go into that kind of, um, like you've been living that for a few weeks, it kind of gets like, where do all these signs of synchronicities go? And they're still there. It's just like some things that you need to like figure out on your own. Like, you know, sometimes you had to take the action. Sometimes you had to take the initiative to do more research or learn more things. Um, yeah, because in the physical space we have here, divine masculine's feeling so weird. Like we have the king here and the queen here. It's just the three of swords, the four of wands with the sun card. Like kind of opposites again. And this is kind of like a hit and a miss. Like there's so many things happening that you know you get a lot of good things happening but a lot of things that you need to like tie up and finish off as well so there's a lot of a lot of things happening a lot more good things than they are difficult things um but it's all with them kind of knowing that this is for a new better year accepting opportunities moving forward in them but the for the sake of having um, a life that you've always wanted manifest. This is the beginning of a, um, this is the beginning of a really, really powerful year. And I think it's time that all twin flames are like being prepped, like the divine is intervening, it's time. You're being prepped. So whatever, wherever you need to do, you're going to do. Whatever you need to start is going to start. The abundance is going to start flowing in. You're going to know how to uh, manifest very quick, quicker and easier. Um, again, it's the same thing. It's like very mirrored, exactly. This is going to be a very interesting uh, next few weeks. Just, just watch. It's going to be crazy. All right. Um, I hope you enjoy that reading. Um, I hope you have a very exciting and fun New Year's or a very quiet and peaceful one if that's what your thing, you know. <laughs> um, I hope you stay with me. We'll see you in the moment. And I wish you so much love and light.